would tell me I'm the only one that you love Yes, Sir Hairless here. Today we're back with another voice play patron request. Thank you for this one. This is Shaboom, Life Could Be a Dream. I love this song, originally by The Chords. Life could be a dream Shaboom. if I could take you up in paradise up above. Released in the mid 50s, there have been so many covers of this song. Another famous one is by The Crew Cuts. Oh, life could be a dream. If I could take you up in paradise up above Released the very same year, 1954 It's a song I imagine most people will recognise There have been similar covers in more recent years One I used to like was by a group called The Overtones Life could be a dream If I could take you up in paradise up above Do up music. I just love it. When I was a teenager, I loved all things 50s. I listened to a lot of doo-wop and when I was about 16 or 17, I did my own a cappella arrangement of Shaboom. We loved singing it. It contributed to a national a cappella championship victory. Thank you. Thank you. So if you can't tell already, I, I love the song. I have a bit of history with it. I've enjoyed many different versions of it over the years. It's definitely a catchy, fun song and it's sort of become a bit of an a cappella standard along with Lollipop by the Cordettes or The Longest Time by Billy Joel. Songs that anyone who has sung in a cappella before would have performed in some capacity. This is voice play, so it's probably safe to assume there'll be some cool elements in there. Non standard things, probably as well, as we often see with them. Oh, and the final thing, the requester recommended that I have the subtitles on for what they say at the end. I will definitely forget to do that, so I'm going to put the subtitles on now. Hey, naughty, hey, naughty, hey, naughty. School if I effect. could take you up to paradise up above And you would tell me I'm the only one that you love Life could be a dream, sweetheart Life could be a dream If only all my precious plans would come true If you would let me spend my whole life loving you Life could be a dream, sweetheart, sweetheart, sweetheart Here's hoping we'll meet again There's, there's a lot going on, isn't there? Uh, but that's fine. That's the beauty of being able to go back and rewatch. So this will be our first pause. I, I want to go back and listen to a few of those things again. If you don't want to hear my analysis, go to the timestamp. Let's start with the key, the two kind of original songs by the chords and the crew cuts. They were in F. The more recent overtones one I showed you in the intro, that's in F sharp. But voice play are in A. So a bit higher, we have Earl Elkins Jr. singing the melody with his laser voice, so this makes sense. I did like the opening broken record effect followed by the vintage quality. I did think for a short while that that might actually be the whole song with this quality, but it's just these extra little touches they do yeah it's definitely less of a live feel but it's voice play their videos are great they put a lot of time and effort into them and it makes them stand out also the set how cool is that i'd love a vintage car like one of these i don't even drive but having a vintage exterior but a modern interior engine all that kind of stuff any multi-millionaire or billionaires out there who want to fund me to start a business that builds these kind of cars hit me up now i was going to say the outfits are kind of 50 50 but because their arrangement seems to be a very obvious and exaggerated modern take on the song that's probably the intention with these outfits a kind of neo or new vintage aesthetic i also like ellie's shoes all right so um yeah back to the intro we get this nice one two one of chords that's how i think of it. It's not the traditional intro. So Jeff goes. 
So we've gone from the home chord to the dominant seventh and then back to the home chord to begin the first verse. The backing usha booms, that they're quite free. Out of three times we hear this little refrain, on the second time, Jeff repeats his note when no one else does. Take you up to paradise up above, and you would tell me I'm this is what I was expecting, so I was kind of listening out for it. But on the third time after that, he doesn't do it. So even here, the most simple part of the arrangement, very, very straightforward, there's this kind of level of micro variety between repetitions. Then we get a nice modernization of the vintage feel. And Earl with the melody, he's really making the most of this idea of musical freedom. He's changing the melody a bit rhythmically too. He's implementing tempo rubato, literally translating to in robbed time. So slowing down some bits, speeding up other bits. It's actually Jeff's bass part that is the most strict here. On the beat. And that in turn accentuates Ellie and Jaynon's shabooms that are accompanying. As for Lane, so I liked the colour transition bit. He has this kind of wind sound layered on top of the increased percussion. But here, what are these noises? Heart, sweet heart, sweet heart. Did you hear that? Like a... And then straight after... So this sounds like it could be a fun one for him. We have these kind of less serious noises, more fun. Fun is just the word to use when thinking or talking about this song. Just everything about it, really, I think, anyway. And speaking of fun, this part is always so fun to sing. You probably are in agreement with me here that these R's sound, or these R that they're singing, they sound a lot more modern, and there are various reasons for this. I was thinking it's to do with the chord progression, especially considering Jeff's part. It'll be easier to show you on the piano. So that's the four chord pattern we have now. This chord progression is used in, I'm sure, many songs. Home Free did a good mashup of Let's Get It On and Thinking Out Loud. Please check out my reaction to that if you want card for that will be up here. But previously, and in the song itself, Shaboom, this is the four chord pattern we would have heard. So I was liking the fluidity of this section, and then... There's the unexpected element, a bit short-lived, but done in true voice play style. We know they love layering parts on top of each other and entering sequentially like that. Immediately afterwards, another unexpected part. Paradise up a <laughs> Not only because of its rhythmic delay, Paradise up a uh, above, but also its discordance. <laughs> this augmented chord, but also the temporary muted audio quality, that vintage effect. Paradise up a <laughs> And again, the broken record effect here, like we saw right at the start. We've seen them do this or similar type effects before, and that would cause rhythmic displacement. An example would be Dragonborn Comes. Here, they do enough broken rewinds to stay in the overall rhythmic structure. So if we just keep counting along, we match back up at the end of it. My mic's a bit out of sync with the video, unfortunately. I have to sort that out in editing, so I can't count over the top, but I'll do an exaggerated slap where the kind of strong beats are, or where each bar or measure begins. You would tell me I'm the only one you love. Life could be a dream, but life could be a dream, be sweet. sweet. So even though those short rewinds might seem a bit random, they're not, they're calculated. They make sure to do it enough so we don't end up, say, half a bar or measure out. By the end, everything is still in its proper rhythmic structural place. All right, we'll go from just a bit before because Jeff had a really cool bass run.
so fine. Oh, life could be a dream. I mean, yeah, great song, and they're doing a great, great cover of it. They do such a good job in this one of, because the song by nature is fairly repetitive, and we know that they can sometimes really take some courses off path and then come back, and they, they do their voice play thing. They're doing a really, really good job here of just keeping the flow so constant whilst also... Ba I'm going to stop myself. Basically, I'm saying there's a lot going on, even though it might not seem like it. So from where we carried on, Jeff's bass line, let's just listen to it. I don't need to talk about it. And Earl's melody, again, much more liberal, much more free. Quite groovy, I think, what he does. He keeps the melodic range there quite limited. <laughs> Just the three notes which brings out the swelling parts underneath more. That bit there, you just have to have this rhythmic manipulation there. It's the usual hemiola spiel. I'm not going to include that in this video because I seem to talk about it in every other video. In the original song, we don't actually get anything of the sort. But in the crew cuts cover, we do. Something is on my mind. Da, 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 da. You do. I liked that idea. I put it in my arrangement. And then I love how it goes from sort of hectic, I mean obviously it's a very organised arrangement, but the feel of that section is a little bit more hectic, into Jeff's little rundown and then into the following homophonic section. And then this part now, based on music that I know from the era, which granted is definitely nowhere near as much as someone who was alive at that time. To me, it sounds like they're getting ready to wrap things up. They could be repeating until the end. Instead, voice play do something clever here. So what they do is they take that four chord pattern I showed you earlier, the same as Let's Get It On, and they've put the Shaboom melody on top of it. And that's why it might sound a little bit peculiar to you. It definitely did to me. Maybe about 25% peculiar. Let me quickly show you why I have assigned a number to level of peculiarity. Here are the chords they're using now, the same as in Let's Get It On. Here are the chords used in Shaboom. So it's just this second chord that's different. It goes from C sharp minor to F sharp minor. I really like this idea, what they've done and how clever it is. Although I'm not sure how natural sounding it is. All right, and then what comes next? It's, oh yeah, the Jeff solo. If you can see the little gray lump above this timeline, this is the most replayed bit of the whole song. Every time I look at you, something is on my mind. People love Jeff and his low fries. But I want you to, baby, we be so fine. Oh, life could be a dream if I could take you up to paradise up above. And you would tell me I'm the only one you love. Oh, life could be a dream, sweetheart. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. And hoping we'll meet you, boom, shaboom. Da 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 Hey, honey, ding dong, a lang, a lang, a lang. 
Right, so after the whole spiel at the beginning about including subtitles, I don't know where they went. I can't remember if they were playing at the beginning or not. Either way, it looks like I forgot about the subtitles. And I listened to the end credits bit, no speaking, but I've just had a little investigation and I think this is what was meant by the credits at the end. <laughs> it's an amazing effect by Lane to, to end. And all of their faces and then Jeff's just looking at the camera. Indifferent. I mean, it is an apt description of his sound effects. A tired robot with a hangover. I quite like it, and tired robot, it fits in with this whole neo-retro idea. There's a cool arts movement, I guess, called retrofuturism. I think that also suits this, actually. I'll show a few images on the screen now as I say this and you'll, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, that was definitely a fun one, wasn't it? So let's just go over a few final things from that last section. j -Nun was very much getting into it. And I like there how they obviously multi-track to keep the consistency of the three-part homophony between j -Nun, Ellie and Earl, even when Earl has the separate upper melody bit. So they overlap a bit. Earl, yeah, his voice is nuts. Probably the hundredth time I've said that in the handful of times I've seen him sing. But yeah, it's, it's just so unique. It is indeed a laser voice. This bit's fun as well. You know, they're just kind of playing around with it now, just having a fun time. <laughs> Taking segments of the song from here or there and then inserting them here or there. And that time we had some added effects. On the voice, just like we saw in Mr. Blue Sky. Card for that will be up here. Please check out my reaction to that one. And there, another example of just how much fun they're having with it. And j Nun's head as well. I did tell you, this is a very, very fun song to sing. We then have a great scat section, but I want you to really focus on Jeff's part here. He has this octave jump. In terms of those four chord patterns, just like I showed earlier, here is the chords of Shaboom. So chord number two is the F sharp minor chord. So Jeff is doing an octave jump from F sharp to the F sharp above to really emphasize this fact that, that these are the traditional Shaboom chords. Now here, where his hand movements become a bit more flowy, He's reverted back to the let's get it on chord sequence. Going down to the C sharp instead of the F sharp. So that's the kind of main harmonic intervention, shall we say, of this arrangement. The replaced second chord at times, whilst not really changing the other parts and having the traditional melody on top of that changed four chord sequence. And by some apparent unwritten law, you simply have to end any arrangement of this song with a funky chord, just as a voice play do. Sweetheart, Here was my choice of chord. Well, there we go, voice play. Yeah, I really like what they did with that. I love this set. I love this mixture of retro or vintage and new contemporary traditionalism found throughout the arrangement, especially structurally, whilst also having obviously modernized and, you know, technological interventions, harmonic changes, some structural changes, as usual with voice play, some rhythmic surprises. Yeah, all around, very much enjoyed that one. Let's leave this one there. So thank you again for this request. And as always, thank you to everyone for watching. Would appreciate a like and subscribe. If you enjoy my content, want to support me, join the community and get access to exclusive perks, please do so by joining the Patreon linked on the screen now, and I will see you next time.